Hi guys, when Rishi Sunak took over from Liz Truss after she crashed and burned as a Prime Minister, lasting just a few weeks, he made some promises. The pledges delivered on the steps of Downing Street were about how things would change. He would lead a government of integrity and professionalism. But as you'll see, he has failed at every turn. A commentator on Twitter called Farouk posted this perfect montage of clips which not only demonstrate how Rishi Sunak has failed to live up to his promises, but he needs to act now if he is to save his party from further ruin and deeper damage to Britain itself. Have a listen. This government will have integrity, professionalism and accountability at every level. I don't actually believe that these Islamists have got control of our country, but what I do believe is they've got control of Khan and they've got control of London. I will unite our country, not with words, but with action. Beware, because if you let Labour in through the back door, expect more of this and expect our cities to be taken over by these lunatics. I want to pay tribute to my predecessor, Liz Truss. Joe Biden needs to be kicked out of the White House. And I admired her restlessness to create change. Yeah. I think that is vital for the future of the West. But some mistakes were made. And I'll tell you, I felt safer for the West when President Trump was in power. Trust is earned, and I will earn yours. Because what I found out when I got into number 10 is I thought that if I got to the top of the tree, I would be able to implement those conservative policies. So you think once you're prime minister, on, yeah, I as thought, a little girl thinking, if I get prime minister, I'll be like Churchill, change the country. Exactly, That's not how it works. Exactly. And what I discovered was that I was not holding the levers. The levers were held by the Bank of England, by the Office of Budget Responsibility. They weren't held by the Prime Minister or the Chancellor. And I think that's a massive, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's hang, a massive hang, hang problem. On, hang on. You're saying the central bank, the Bank of England, is one of the things that controls it. Are you a conspiracy theory person? Well, you almost sound like what, Worm. You're, you're MAGA. And I understand, too, that I have work to do to restore trust after all that has happened. The way you restore trust will be to sack these two individuals. Now, from the get-go, it was uh, doomed to fail because what did Rishi Sunak do as soon as he was Prime Minister? He reinstated Suella Braverman. Suella Braverman, of course, was gone in disgrace over leaking documents. And what did he do? He turned around and he put her back into her position as uh, Home Secretary. Now, why did he do that? Because he was afraid of the, the far right within the Conservative Party. He needed to shore up support with them. Now, I really don't understand why he didn't sack, remove the whip from both Liz Truss and Quasi Quartang to really show that he was about change. Could have removed the whip from both of them and then Liz Truss wouldn't be in the US now campaigning for Donald Trump telling the American people they should vote for the guy who tried to carry out a coup a number of years ago. You wouldn't have uh, Lee Anderson. Lee Anderson, another, promoted to deputy chair of the Conservative Party, it seems, because he was threatening to leave and, and join and defect to Reform UK. This is an absolute failure. Rishi Sunak is an absolute failure. He's appointed people who are incompetent, who are racists and bigots, and he has allowed his position to be undermined by charlatans. He, he needs to grow a backbone. If he cares about his party, he needs to throw out, like Boris Johnson. So Boris Johnson, when he took over, what did he do? He dealt with the Remainers by throwing them out of the party. Anyone who disagreed with him on Brexit had the whip removed. Boris Johnson was ruthless. Boris Johnson didn't care about the consequences. Rishi Sunak, it seems, is too spineless to challenge these people. When it came to Suella Braveman, he eventually had her kicked out uh, of her position. But how much damage had she done before that took place? People were calling for her to resign a long time before uh, she eventually was, was removed from her position. But Rishi Sunak is constantly trying to micromanage, it seems, his party, afraid of people who could challenge his position. And now what he's going to leave 
when he eventually is removed from office uh, following the election, is he's going to leave a party that is extremist. Because the people who are going to win their seats at the next election in the Conservative Party are the likes of Liz Truss, Priti Patel, Kemi Badenoch, Suella Braverman. The, this extreme wing of the party is, go, is, is all that's going to be left. And Rishi Sunak could have had an opportunity to move the party further to the, to the centre, to the left, but instead he decided, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit on my hands and allow these charlatans and extremists a voice Think about it for a moment. A former prime minister, as you can see here, Liz Truss, is in the US at the moment, unless she's come back. She's still an MP and she's campaigning for Donald Trump. Criticizing this, the sitting president, Joe Biden, saying that he should be removed from office. Just think about that for a moment. This is insane. And Rishi Sunak is allowing it to happen. This is not just damaging to the Conservative Party, it's damaging to Britain. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.